Here's the example from the previous video. We have everything in here is static. Okay, and then thus, ever, since everything is static, I can say logger, initialize, logger, log, logger, log, logger, log, log, shut down. Okay, I, I, this is very much and nearly pretty much identical to what I showed in C++, where I don't need a class. I don't need to bother with a class in C++. I can just make this global stuff and roll with it in C++, but, but in C-sharp land, you know, everything has to be in a class, and if you want to do what you're doing, that's fine, but you at least have to say class and put some curlies out here and at least group it together. But at that point, you need to be explicit and say static, 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 even though that's the default out here. If you don't use classes in C++, that's the default. Anyway, since everything's static in here, I can say logger dot, logger dot, logger dot, logger dot, logger dot, tell the logger to do whatever it is. I don't have to instantiate one. I can just statically, on the class type name, no instances here, just on the type name, say, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah and that's fine. But what if I'm, I don't know, ignorant, uneducated, naive, I don't really understand this logger class, and I say, oh, well, there's a logger class built into our library. All right, let me just zoom in here a little bit. Logger, me logger. I want to do some logging. I'm going to instantiate a logger, and then I'm going to say me logger dot log Where's the log method? Did you guys see that? Let me back over that again. Look, there's no initialize logging. There's no log message. It's Why is it not there? Well, because these are static methods. And I can't call static methods directly on an instance variable in C Sharp. That's just part of the language, even though other languages like C++ will allow you to do that. Anyway, that's probably for good reason, because this is static. The, all these methods are static. And what does it mean to call it on an instance? That just doesn't make sense. Okay, so really, this logger class we've created was never meant to be instantiated. Yet I'm instantiating it right here. I can hit Control Shift B, build succeeded, that's fine. But we never really meant for this thing to be instantiated. There's no instance data anywhere in here. Okay, so. Uh, uh, okay, well, there's a few ways around this. One, supported directly by the C-sharp compiler. Let me show you that way first. Let me come up here and say static, and Control-Shift-B, and now we get an error. Look at that. Oh, we get two errors. It's saying, hey, I can't have a variable of logger, so it's it's mad that I even did this. It's saying, you can't make a, lo a variable of this. It's static. Right? It's, you, just, you can't create an instance of it. Okay, and then here, cannot create an instance of static class logger. That's complaining, saying, hey, you cannot new up a logger. It's static. Okay. Uh, let me just prove to you that's two separate error messages. I'll take that out and hit Control Shift B, and we only get the second error message again. Now, I, I'm going to try to keep my cool in this video. I really am. <laughs> but I hear people say all the time, oh, a static class is a class you can only create one instance of. And that's a bunch of bull. There is no instances. There are no instances. Okay, I cannot say new logger. To create an instance, I have to say new logger. Right? There's no instances. I'm not creating any instances. I showed you in previous videos that static data gets its own section of memory. And I think Java actually, I, I don't really know Java that well, but I think Java actually takes it to the next level and says, yeah, it's a static instance of the class, of the class instance or something like that. I think that's what Java calls it. That is not cool. <laughs> static data is static. I'm not creating an instance of this. Alright? If I was creating an instance of it, then, you know, int instance var, that's five or whatever, then my instance would have this, but it wouldn't have in it wouldn't have any of the static data out here. It's anyway, so I'll, I, I think I held my cool there just fine. Anyway, that's kind of nice support that the C Sharp compiler gives us that, hey, if you say static, that's fine. Then everything you do with this is static. It's it's almost like C++ over here, okay. But but you just can't call the methods directly. You have to at least scope into the class that you've put the methods in. Okay, I hope that makes sense. We're the the only thing that's different between C# -sharp and the C++ example over here is that C# -sharp, we just had to put this class out here, and every time we call a function slash method, uh, we had to prefix it with the appropriate type name. Other than that, it's identical to what we did over here in C++ land. Hence, static. Okay? Static data compile time.
Now, this isn't the first time you've probably interacted with a static class. What if I came here and we're used to saying console.write, console control using system, console.write line, uh, me line, like so, and control shift B, that works fine. And you probably, did, that's probably the first line of code was a hello world. That's probably the first thing you did in C sharp. Okay, well, what if I came in here and said console, me console gets new console? You ever you ever tried to instantiate a console? I think we're so used to accessing console dot write line statically via the type name here that that we don't even think about instantiating this. But look, now I try to instantiate. It says, "Hey, console is a static class. You can't do what are you doing, buddy? That's so not legit." Okay. Anyway, that's probably enough for you now. But I'm going to take it to the next level. You can stop here if you like. But I'm going to go to the next level. Static on a class is syntactic sugar. Supplied to us by us via the C Sharp compiler. What do I mean by that? Static classes are not native to .NET. The C Sharp compiler does some hocus pocus, syntactical sugar, diabetes, gocus for us. Let me show you what it does. I'm going to save this file, and hopefully you remember I I have this batch file C.bat that I use in several videos, which will compile all this code and then give me the .NET reflector version of of what the C Sharp compiler actually did. Notice we're in IL right here, and I'm going to poke down, poke down, go find my logger, click on this, and do you see static anywhere from here on in? Do you see static anywhere? No. Okay, I see static on the functions, which is right, static constructor, look at that, an empty static constructor created for us. Static initialize, oh, not empty, I bet there's actually data in there if we, let's, let's click on that, oh, yep. Oh, look at that. It sets up the log number. It defaults it to zero. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted here. So, logger, static function, static data, static, static. Very cool. I'm not seeing static class anywhere on here. Are, are you? What? I'll tell you what the C Sharp compiler does. When I see static, okay, first of all, notice there's no instance constructor. Why? How, can, how do I tell? Well, if there was an instance constructor, I would have CTOR instead of CCTOR. Okay, and then also look at, we have a abstract, ooh, that's interesting, I can't inherit from this logger anymore, even though I didn't say abstract out here, there's abstract there, ooh, or I mean I can't inherit from it, sorry. Sealed means I can't inherit from it. Abstract means you cannot create an instance of it. All right, think about that. If I'm consuming this code from VB, all right, well, the C Sharp compiler, very cleverly, we said static, the compiler says, okay, well, if they try to use this in VB, that's fine, but they won't be able to inherit from it, and they won't be able to create an instance of it. Hence, static. And, furthermore, I'm not going to allow them creating an instance of it, because I'm not going to give them a constructor. <laughs> okay, let me, let me get the snipping tool up here. I just want to grab this, like so and save that away for a minute. I'm going to go back to this, take static off, save the file, and recompile that, re-reflect it. Let's just look at the look at the result. Let's go back to logger and ooh, look at that. Alright, let's put these side by side if we can. Okay, here's the static version is over here on the right and the non-static on the right. Look, the abstract and seal are gone. Okay. We also have a constructor, a regular instance constructor, and, and there you go. So I'm probably beating a dead horse.